Nice to have you guys joining me. We're going to be working with the Regal Rose from the spring collection of the Crafters Companion uh, Flower Forming. That's like a mouthful for some reason. Flower Forming Foam. Okay, dies. So it comes with some large stencils that you can trace um, around if you would like to do the larger flowers. And then it also comes with the dies. So you get like a large and a small or a medium and a small and then your little ones or you can use these for buds and then you have your foliage here. So before we start on that, I want to go ahead and I have a little birdhouse here. Um, I got this for one dollar at my local family dollar and for time I've already painted the back of it white. So I'm going to go ahead and paint the other side of it white as well and I'm just using some acrylic paint and in Snow White is the color and I'm just going to go ahead and paint this. Now before I do that I need to protect my space. I have not been using my glass mat lately which I need to but I do have a black piece of cardstock that has taken its place. So I'm just going to just paint this um, just a few coats and I'm just using these uh, what do you call this applicator sponge applicators that I got from Dollar Tree I think it comes in a four pack so yeah this is just something quick to do and instead of making a card today I wanted to do this birdhouse and you can use this as a decor piece a gift um, I'm thinking about hanging mines near my back door so I'm just painting this and this is fast drying paint so I'm gonna finish painting this and I'll be right back so I'm just going to place this to the side I'll put about two coats on it and I am just going to put my brush in some warm water and I'm gonna place this to the side to dry and while that is drying we will go ahead and start our flower forming so we I have cut out so I'm actually going to bring this back in view a little bit because I actually need to color some of my because um, I'm using white and I'm just going to take my sponge dauber these are my favorite from heart Creations because they're you get more of a precise um, coating so I'm just taking some distress oxide and I'm just going around the edges and I'm doing the front and the back because obviously you will see um, the full 360 of the flower so I'm using spun sugar and just just lightly you don't it doesn't have to be too much because I'm gonna go over top of it with another color um, to kind of deepen it up a little so I've already made a couple of flowers but I wanted to just show you how I did it um, just in case I had got any questions on how I color them so this is just a crafters companion white um, flower foam and yeah you can use any of your inks and your oxides to color um, the foam and you can even color like say like if you had yellow and you wanted to add shades of orange you can you know color on top of the color foam as well so that quick and simple because like I said I've already have some and then now I'm just gonna go over it with picked raspberry and I'm just going to just a little bit just lightly over the edges just to deepen it up a little like I'm not even tapping this back into the ink it's just for it to be a little darker okay and then we are going to go ahead now to form my flowers today I am using my Cricut I use my Cricut um, mini press that's what I use whenever I do flower forming um, it's small but mighty so I have it here the little one looks like a little iron 
and what we're going to do is so easy to do this and let me move this out the way because the paint is still wet almost dry so you're gonna need your foam mat and that comes with your kit if you get a flower forming kit that comes with it if you have you you um, use heartfelt creation flowers and you have their flower forming tools you'll get one as well so if you know how to do flower forming you know that this is essential so now we're gonna take a ball tool and you're gonna take your I have my little mini press here and I'm gonna take my first flower and I'm just gonna place it on and just roll it till it bubbles up and then I'm gonna take my ball tool and just kind of just shape it a little bit and I like to go back and flip it over and press it down like that since this is a rose okay and then I'm gonna do the small one the same way that one you don't have to leave on too long because it's so tiny and then I have this one here and I'll leave that one like this because this one will be my little bud so I'm gonna move that to the side and then I also have this color here so I'm going to do the same thing um, this one I did not uh, add any distress oxide ink to it you can if you would like to so yeah so you just pretty much just put it there to activate the um, so that you can shape it to how you want it so that's what the heat is doing the heat is activating it so that you can now mold it and shape it sorry about that so now we will go ahead and add our um, stamens so this is my little bud here so I'm gonna place that to the side and oh wait I have a few more I wanted to show you some foliage that I was using from um, the first one of the first uh, crafters companion forming kits um, because I wanted to add that foliage to my project and when you're using if you're using your iron or whatever you're using as your heating tool please be careful because it is still is crafting but it's still heat and it's still you know you have to be careful um, I wouldn't let children do this so almost done and if you would like to see any of my other flower forming videos, they will be linked in the description box for you to see. So these come in the kit, these shaped um, foliage leaves, sorry about the paint on my fingers. And that I just kind of just let it sit on there for a minute. Whoops. And then that's it. You pretty much don't really have to do much shaping to them. So yeah. And then I have two more. So just let it get on there and there we go. And then what I wanted to show you was this one. So this is part of one of the first flower forming kits from Crafters Companion. This is called Leaves and Vines. So I decided to cut some of this out and I've cut out two of them and I've cut them out in some of Crafters Companion, some uh, light green and you just place it there and I just kind of just let it curl a little, a little bit, but not too much. So here and then there we go that's pretty much it so that is the flower forming that's done now we will add our stamens so you're going to take however many layers you would like you're going to need a pokey tool this is from crafters campaign and you're going to take your layers and you're going to start with the smallest layer first which would be the little bud so I'm just gonna take that and you can open it up if you need, poke through the middle. Then I'm gonna go to my next size, poke that one in the middle. And then I'm gonna go to the next one and then just kind of offset it once you start getting to the larger ones. So those that, you see that? Looks like a pretty rose. Perfect. So then now just run your pokey tool through it enough where you can fit a stamen through there. So I have um, the Crafters Companion stamens that came with some of the kit. This is white and you could actually color this. Now normally I just fold this in half and just run it through 
um, the little hole. So I just fold it in half. You can use one, you can use four, you can use however many you want. My little buds, sorry. The little buds in the way. So normally this is easier for me. Let me make my hole a little bit bigger. Okay, so I'm just run it through. See that? Okay, there we go. So then now I'm going to actually I could just take this and go like that since the hole is a lot bigger. I'm just going to push it through all the layers and there we go. Okay. And then what I like to do so that it doesn't come out through the back. Uh oh, it's already coming out. I add hot glue. So we'll fix that. So I'm just going to push that back through the hole and then add the hot glue to secure it. So don't panic if that happens. It's just <laughs> something we can fix quickly and easy. So yeah, um, you would definitely want to use hot glue when making these flowers. It's harder to do it this way if it falls out, but it's fixable. Okay. Come on. Okay, in there, in there. All right, so I'm gonna pull it through, shape my flowers back the way I have them, like offset them, and then run this through, come on. And then just put some hot glue on the back. And that will secure it from falling through. So as you can see, I just put a little glue there and then once that dries, it'll stop it from falling through. So I'm gonna lay that to the side to dry and I'm gonna do the same thing for the next one. And I'm just gonna run my little bud first. And then the next size, oh, not that one, this one. The next size, this one, then this one. And then once, like I said, once you get to the larger one, just offset it and there we go. Or a cute little rose and then just make the hole and then run your stamen. Now, another way you can run your stamen through is through with wire. Um, I don't find it necessary. I mean, I know you saw me struggle a little bit with the first one, but that's because the first time I did not make the hole big enough. But as you can see this time it went through perfect. And then again, secure the back of it with some hot glue. Can you see that? Okay, so then I'm going to lay that to dry. And then I have one more. So let's do this one. And we will go ahead and finish our project. So I love this. I love the flower form. It's so nice. Um, it gives more. I think sometimes it gives more of a more realistic look than the paper flowers um especially like if you do like what i did with the ombre effect and the fading of the colors it looks more natural but that's just my opinion and then my hot glue and then we're done so i'm gonna let that dry and then now we are going to go back to our uh birdhouse so the birdhouse, I still see a little bit of wet there. So I'm gonna let it, it's not completely wet, but I still see wet spots. So I am going to give this about another five minutes and I'll be back. While the birdhouse is finished drying, I'm gonna go ahead and add some glitter to my flowers. So I'm just gonna line them up here. And I have just a little coffee filter. And I'm just going to line them up. And I am going to take, I have a little sponge here, a piece of a little sponge. And I'm going to put some glue on it, just kind of just on it. It'll soak in. And then what I'm going to do is take it and just like dab it over the flowers. And then you see that once you do that, you can see a little bit of it. I'm just going to sprinkle some glitter over it. And I'm just using a um, 
uh, applicator squeeze applicator bottle and then you may have to do it again because this dries fast and that's it and I'm just just adding the glue in random spots and then adding the glitter and I'm using a coffee filter so I can just dump this back into the bottle so that's it and you just decorate your birdhouse so stay with me and we'll decorate our house and like I said I only paid one dollar for that bird little it's a wooden little plaque or wooden birdhouse it's one dollar and I got that from family dollar at my local family dollar so yeah super easy like I said um let's you know we can do things other than just cards um, I know sometimes we can get bored of doing the same thing over and over again and plus if you're like you like crafting um, there's you know you like trying different things this is good so then what I've done is I've taken so the little flower that I use as a bud I've taken it and just did one and I added a stamen and I'm gonna put some glitter on those as well and I'll just use the excess of what's here in a coffee pot I mean the coffee filter and that's just to give it some little accent flowers and I'm just dipping it into the um, extra glitter that fell out since they're so small okay so now let's go ahead our birdhouse should be dry and before we do that let's cut off the stamens so obviously I ran the stamens through and there's still little pieces a little uh, the other end so I'm just gonna cut that short but not so short where I clip where I um, glued it so just gonna go ahead and start clipping these off and I'll show you how short I'm cutting it just enough because we're gonna um, hot glue these on anyways and you could actually save these if they're long enough so like I could reuse where did it one of them fell somewhere right there so I mean it's up to you or just throw it away I don't know keeping extra stuff especially if you have a crowded crafting space or craft room like me it's getting cluttered so these flowers are so pretty okay and my glue dries clear so I know when you saw it white it, it'll dry completely clear so that's nothing to worry about come on okay all right great so let's move on so let's check our birdhouse okay looks good it's dry so now what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and just tap it yeah it's dry okay so we're going to go ahead and start decorating so i have this here and i'm going to put this right here so you just pretty much um, start placing where you want things and like i said it's good to use some hot glue or if you're going to use like a craft glue use something that will stick to wood so i'm just putting glue and random leaves on the foliage and press it down and i don't want to glue all of them completely because i want it to look like realistic like the leaves are you know coming off look 3d then i have this one and I'm gonna put this one at the top. So I'm just putting glue on the leaf, a couple of them. And you can get rid of all of your glue webs at the end. That gets really annoying. And just place that. Okay and then start placing your flowers and like i said just use some hot glue and i'm going to use these larger ones with the 
the larger flowers. So I'm just going to place that like under there. And then we'll go back and clean up all these glue webs. So don't worry about that. Okay. more larger ones I'm gonna put I'm not gonna put it there because that's gonna cover up the green ones um, I guess I'll put that with this one and I will put it under here small little ones and I also have some small little leaves here so I'm going to place these random place right there and like I said those are just accent flowers and then I'll place one right um, I guess right here is fine and then I'll place this last little one over here Okay, and I actually have a bird. I actually have a little bird that I'm gonna place. Um, I have a little branch here, and I'm gonna glue this on. It will clean up the webs, and then I have this bird here, and I'm gonna place him right there, him or her. I'm just putting some hot glue on the bird. I'm gonna place him right there. Okay, and then we have to go and clean up all of these glue webs. So I'll clean them up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I cleaned up as much of the little webs that I can see. So if you want to place like a message or a sentiment of something here, you can. I'm gonna stamp a um, sentiment, or I'm gonna use a stamp and I'm gonna be using Memento Sweet Plum. And I'm gonna stamp, hopefully I don't mess this up because if I mess this up, then I'm gonna have to cover it up with a sticker or something. So I am going to be stamping this um, let me wipe off the excess around it. Okay, so I'm going to be stamping this. Oh, I hope I don't screw this up. Okay, looks good. So it was a stamp that said, um, that says home sweet home, if you can't see it. And I use the little ink here. Um, the ink I used was this one and then I just stamped it. So you just let the ink dry a little bit and looks like it's already dry. So now you can send this to someone um, for birthday, welcome to the neighborhood, friendship, um, maybe somebody's homesick or I don't know, um, whatever. Maybe somebody lives is from another area or country and like I said they're homesick you can give this to them but cheap right if you already have um, your foam flowers this was one dollar and then the paint is like a dollar at the Dollar Tree or like two or three dollars at Walmart or your local craft store so this is a sweet gift to give to somebody like I love things like this like I would rather have this than like a 40 or 50 dollar gift because 
you know people take the time to make things for you and they actually as you can see this took some time so it's nothing like art you know it comes from the heart so thank you so much for joining me i hope you guys like this video and i'll see you guys in another video don't forget to check out my other flower forming videos i'll have those in the description box bye Thank you.